Hello there, welcome to your very own channel and in this particular video we are going to learn about how to use getter and setter in JavaScript. Well, these are the smart ways to access and update object data with full control and safety. So let's go to our Visual Studio code and understand that how to use it step by step. Let's go. Let's first understand the definition of getter and setter, right? So get and setter, as I told you, are the special methods that allow to get and set object properties. What is this get? Well, get is used to access the value of a property. It means that there are some properties and if we want to access the value of that particular property, we use this getter method. And what is the setter method? Well, setter method is used to change that value of a property. Right, so in the getter, we were taking, we were accessing the value, and through setter, we are changing that value. Right, okay, fine. Now, let's understand that how it works. So, in conventional classes and in the conventional method, what we normally do, let me give you an example. So, as you can see here, I'm having this class person inside of this, I'm having a constructor which is having a parameter name and in the variable name, I am storing this parameter, right? So this is the basic class. And in the conventional method, what we do, we create an object using that particular class. And inside of this, I am giving an argument John. Now, when I want to access this particular name, this particular variable from the class, what we do? We simply write the name of the object, then dot and that particular name, right? Because this object is storing that particular variable. Yes, so this is how we normally access the value of the variable from the class. And similarly, if we want to change this, we do this method, right? We simply uh, write the name of the object, then the name of the variable, and simply we change the value. And then we, when we print it, we see that, yes, the name has been changed. So this is how we change and access the values normally. But let me tell you that this is very unsafe. Because anyone can change the important values directly by using this method if they have the full access to that, right? So for that solution, we started using the private variables and for accessing and changing those private variables, we started using these getter and the setter, setter methods. This is the main reason, right? So this is not good because in industry, we normally don't use this kind of method to change and access the values. What we do? Let me show you. So let's uh, create a class first. Class person. Inside of it, I'm going to give a variable, right? Name. So I'm defining this variable, but this variable is what? This variable is public, right? Anyone can access this, access it, right? But for making it private, what we do? We do, we put a hash before the variable. Now, this particular variable is what? This is now become a private variable. You need to understand this and learn this, that for making a variable private inside a class, we put a hash before the variable. Now, let's create a constructor. Now, every time when the person give an argument to a class that will be stored inside this parameter and through this dot now hash name equals to name right so now this particular name the argument is now storing the value inside this inside this what inside this variable this private variable Right, so this is the only time when the value get accessed and being provided to this variable. Now, for accessing this value and for changing this value, what we do? We use getter method, right? So for getter, what we do? We need to write, let me show you first that whether anyone can access it or not. Let's say, let's create a object, let p equals to new person and instead of this i am giving a name let's say john right yeah so if i try to print the name of the john right the name variable this name variable right which i have given here 
if I try to accept it directly, what will happen? Let's see. Console dot log, and inside of this, I'm writing p dot hash name. Right now, if I try to access it, what it will show? It will show me that private field hash name must be declared in an enclosing class. It means that you cannot access this private private variable directly right so what we need to do that for, for that for accessing that value we need to create a getter method let me show you how now for the getter method we write get name you can name it anything right it is on you but we normally uh, name it get name now inside this particular function which i named get name we write return this dot hash name right now what's the property of this private variable the private the property of this private variable is that that it can be accessed only inside the particular class it cannot be accessed except sorry it cannot be accessed outside the class so since i'm using this particular function and through this function i'm creating a return type where i'm returning what this particular variable so i'm not providing this variable outside directly but i am using this particular function name get name which is a getter through this i am returning this particular name right now for the setup when i want to change this particular value then what i will use i will name it set name and then i will take a parameter that is new name wait yeah now inside of it what i will do uh, if if new name dot length right is greater than 0 it means there should be some name right then only we can change it so this dot hash name equals to new name right so now by this what will happen that when you use this setter function now it can access since it is inside the class it can access this name variable so now it is accessing that name variable and inside of this we are changing this the value of that particular variable with the help of the parameter the argument which you will send when you are accessing this set name method right so let's see that whether it will work or not so if i write console.log and then inside of it i am writing p dot get name right get name now if i write p dot get name earlier we were writing p dot hash name we were getting a error right but if i do this what do you think i'm going to get let's see yes i'm getting the value right so by using getter method it is very simple L listen to me it is just a conventional rule or a way that how we access the uh, values when we are working on an industry projects right and this is a very common we are just creating a function inside of it and using it as a method that's it that we were earlier doing in the class of class prototype inheritance everywhere so here we were writing return and then we are calling this particular name variable inside of it now getter is having this name variable the value of this name right and then when we are accessing it we are getting the value now if i want to change the value what i will do p dot set name i will call this method set name method right and inside of it uh, i can name anything like piyush right okay now if i again try to get the value right now since i have done this the value of name variable is not changed right because i am giving a argument now it is taking that arg argument inside this parameter and it will check that whether its length is greater than zero or not so yes it is greater than zero right so now it will assign the particular new name inside this variable right this is how it is done now if i again try to print it let's see let's see what i'm going to get 
as you can see, I'm getting this Piyush here. So this is how actually you change the name or the change the uh, value of a variable inside a class using these two methods, right? So it is very easy and uh, I think that you understood that we use get name and set name method to read and update the private values safely, right? And if someone tries a p dot hash name, right, a private variable, it will show an error because it is truly private. Got it? So it is helping it in what? It helps us to keep sensitive data private and safe right so this is the main use of it if you don't use a private variable even then also you can use this method there is no problem in that but this is the main reason why we use it right because in private variable normally uh, you can think of it like a password right so if you are having a password inside a class you don't want that anyone can easily access that password right there should be a defined uh, method for it and that particular method is this get name and set name for accessing and changing that password this is the basic example why we use these private variables and getter and setter method i hope you understood the concept very clearly and uh, thank you for watching this is all for today's video and we'll meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye take care data